The first half of episode 15 is wasted on the characters once again bickering at each other by using the only gimmick that defines them. No need to hurry getting the artifact despite making it sound important. Look at the art, it's amazing. Not even the king thinks there is any urgency. He's told powerful enemies are going after it and he doesn't send any more men. A few spoiled kids are more than enough. Let the rest of the hundred elite fighters who are not doing anything all this time to keep doing nothing. And the great character, he's very strong, look at him. As for the second half of the episode, that is wasted on the friend who abandoned them, thus showing how much teamwork means to him, revealing to have the depth of a one-dimensional evil rapist. You didn't see that coming. It's amazing. Episode 16 is wasted on fighting the smoking guy by using teamwork, the thing that should have used from the very beginning. And even then, their powers work in whatever way suits the plot. That Tsundere doesn't use the magic sphere she gained in the previous arc, and somehow she could throw the Naruto clone with precision when she has absolutely no control over her powers. He has his big swords, anti-magic, pretty much cool. The next three episodes are wasted on fighting a diamond guy with a backdrop stolen from Zabuza in Naruto. Because fuck you, originality! He seemed undefeatable, but then the heroes use the power of plot armor. A fairy appears out of nowhere and saves them without explaining what the hell just happened. Tactics and teamwork, what's that? I'm not losing to you, Asta. Bring it. And then the arc ends with another girl joining Naruto clone's harem. I mean, what kind of a girl wouldn't fall in love with his deep character, his gentle manners, and his angelic voice? Stop!